a closed uh, a closed um, unplug everything modem router and PC whether it is desktop or laptop unplug everything and after unplugging uh, first connect the ethernet cable from the ethernet port of the router to the ethernet port of the cable modem that is the modem supplied by the internet supplier or the cable provider the cable from is first to be connected after connecting the ethernet cable from the internet port of the router and the cable modem then connect the another ethernet cable other cable from the ethernet port of the computer as shown in the figure in the picture to the ethernet port of the LAN port of the router which is maximum time in case of maximum router is colored as yellow is then a special port only there is one port one router maybe may contain several output ethernet ports but there is only one special port for this purpose after connecting the ethernet cable from the ethernet port of the computer to the LAN port of the router up then the modem is to be plugged to connect it plug means the power supply to the modem is to be made and few to be wait for few minutes for setting up the modem it's itself with the internet supply and after that then the power supply to the router is to be made that is a plug of the adapter supplying current to the router is to be power on and the power LED of the router is to be will be blown and after that the computer is to be computer that is the PC laptop or desktop is to be power on and mind it after doing that the there is one reset pin at the back of the router the this pin is provided to reset the router to its factory mode and this reset pin is to be post for minimum 10 seconds to make the router to its factory mode if to make the to erase everything of presetting data if they are being the router this process is to be done now to reset the router uh, as per your own <coughs> requirement and as per uh, details IP address sub net mask address and other details obtained from the internet provider to receive that router corresponding routers web pages is required for this purpose just open any 
search browser google chrome or firefox or any internet explorer like that and type the routers website address just like for dealing routers it is 192.168.0.1 and for tp link if the router be made of tp link then it is 192.168.0.1 or maybe you can use 192.168.1.1 by after entering the routers website page then you have to enter the login id and password the default login id for most of the router is admin pd min admin and the password initial password is written at the back side of the router it is available at the back side of router and in maximum cases it is password up you have to enter these two data id as admin admin and password as password after entering in the router setup page you can change the login password if you want but you have to remind it you have to notate it secretly at any point for further security after login you have to in you will enter a page in which you have to uh enter the ip address subnet mask default subnet pass and everything these data uh, are to be obtained from the internet service provider these data are to be entered here in this case the router having two frequencies output 15 gigahertz and other is 2.4 gigahertz because of what two a uh, pass uh, security code these security codes are the security code to connect to the router one have to be entered this security code for securing your router your internet service so that unknown person will not be able to log in to use your internet service you have seen in this pages that i have used the password raj_dealing_5g for 5 gigahertz output signal and raj underscore delay underscore 2.4g so by entering the security code this is very important to protect your internet service your internet speed everything and now follow the pages where the ip address is to be enter and how after entering the ip address that is the ip v4 not ip v6 here the service is available only for ip v4 not ip v6 then other pages are to be open but mind it for every at every time you have to check or click the save changes without saving the changes nothing will be finally saved 
in the set process. So, every time you have to check the safe changes.
here one can see that the, this page is used for setting or reconfiguration of the D-Link router web page login. Initially, the login ID and password was admin and password. Now, you can change the login password only as you like. This password can be auto generated by the system or you can use as per your own choice. But the login ID normally remains as default which is admin. So, after changing the password you have to notate it secretly and finally click on the save changes then the new login password will be reset. Already I have previously stated that the IP address, update mask and everything is to be entered as per data obtained from the internet service provider. Here, here this page is used for that. And in the left pane, you have to no, choose the page you want to open. In this here, you are you can see that this page is for LAN setting, local area network setting, and next one is a wireless area network setting. And in this way, you have to understand the language of the page, what it means, and we have to enter the value as per mean and as per obtained from your service provider.
this one is the page where you have to meet or enter the security code or password for your router connection for router setting to connect the router in this case there are two kind of output signals one is 5 gigahertz and other is 2.4 to connect the two output signals you have to make you can make a single password for both cases but for detecting the signal to which you are connecting the passwords are to be made separate and this password are to be kept very secretly so that unknown person will not be able to know it 